big fan of the Royals, uh, served in the, the army, um, been in the police course, her whole life, so she's been the boss, so just important the, uh, to come down and uh, pay her respects. Uh, but really difficult to say, because I don't feel like, you know, I was a complete royalist, uh -huh. but I feel uh -huh. as if like I've been really, really emotional, it's really touching, you know, over these last yeah. days, and um, just felt really close, and as if, like I say, it, you know, for your whole life, you've just been part of, just a consistent in your life, forever. Yeah. And the fact that she lived out her faith um, and let that permeate everything she did as leader of the state um, and as leader of the church was an example to me in terms of how to live life. She's remained true to her word, her faith has been very strong, uh, her sense of duty to her country has been exemplary. We just happened to be visiting from Canada, nice. um, and this hap we happened to be in Edinburgh at this time, and we, yesterday we did a little walk up there and saw this, and we thought this would be a really nice gesture yeah, to yeah, come yeah. and pay our respects to the Queen. What did the Queen mean to yourself? Um, she was really just a figurehead for our government, but it was sort of unifying. One of the hymns was the Lord's My Yeah, we have the Governor General, who is the Queen's representative, and... Um, we admire her or him, no, whoever it happens to be, and uh, it was a nice tie. She loves Scotland, uh -huh. particularly Parliament in Holyrood yeah. and Balmoral. Uh -huh. uh -huh.